So I think we can all agree it's been a while, hasn't it? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Knock, and yes, this is a Portal 2 video. It's been a while, hasn't it? It really has, and I don't know, I've just been sort of out of love a bit with Portal for quite a while, and I guess this is just a bit of an experiment to come back to the game and see how I feel. I think taking the break from Portal at the beginning of the year was a real eye-opener because it allowed me to see that I could do other things, and... I've been having lots of fun doing other things and Portal hasn't necessarily been at the top of my list. Maybe I'm getting a bit burnt out after the many hundreds of hours I've played. But like I said, maybe this is a bit of an experiment just to see whether or not I feel like I want to and can come back to Portal 2. Because it's been a while and I honestly don't know what my puzzle solving ability is going to be like. So this is Worlds Apart from Mike Stro, And uh, this is a concept that he had in his head for quite a while. Uh, DR's mapping contest gave me the perfect opportunity to work it out into a small map. It won't be a winner, but I like it anyway. And it actually won. Congratulations. This is my third mono portal puzzle, and there are two, just two portal surfaces. Believe it or not, but making this idea work took an inordinate, inordinate, <laughs> clearly having a break hasn't made my pronunciations go any better, uh, amount of thought and effort. One of the biggest challenges to overcome was to prevent the players from being able to trap themselves, but ultimately I'm very pleased with the results. Two rooms completely separated and unrelated. Nothing in one room influences anything in the other. They are only connected through portals. Can you reach the exit? And as always, don't do any unintended solutions. Three out of 10, maybe it's short, small and short, but it's a bit abstract. Let me know what you think. All right, here we go then. Reflection gel, which is pointing there. Is that on a timer? Okay, so that's on a timer. So I can only assume with this we're going to want to press the timer and then that's going to. Okay. Ha. Maybe though, if I can get that all hooked up and actually shoot the portal on there. There'll be something when I angle the laser through there, which will stop it and do something different. Perhaps. Yes, there we go, look. There we go. Excellent. Pop a save there. Now, he did say that nothing was connected, nothing was related, right? So... do this. Now we need a way to redirect this. So I'm guessing we're going to take this over to here now. Like so. And now we need to get rid of the cube somehow. So that what happens will be that will reflect off there. The portal will swap back. We put our blue portal there. That will trigger that. And then that will drop down. And I guess we can use cubes to get up to there. Do like a bit of cube climbing, right? I think that seems about right. say how do we oh Could put that in there perhaps it 
So we can do that. second. That controls that. Could I just respawn that cube? That would close that. That would stop that. Yeah, okay. So I think respawning the weighted cube would probably work here. Okay, cube respawned. And now, we don't need to worry about that being angled, do we? Well, maybe we do. But we can do that. Whether or not we need to use the laser, I don't think we need to use the laser anymore. course that is going to fire up to there so now we need to come up with a way to delay right but I need to use a cube to get up to here and a cube to get up to there comes down to sort of the ordering of the cube, I guess. So where was we? Um, we was trying to work out a way in which we can... Yeah. We can do something fancy here. Now... We could have that on there. That pointing there, which means we don't need that cube. Which would work time being. But then how do we force this to update? That's the big thing here, isn't it? Now, if we can respawn the laser cube, there is a window of opportunity where we could potentially get up into the right area because it's going to respawn first. Then it's going to take its time to come out the dropper and drop down before it hits that. Then flip the panel before that actually ends up onto there. So... Let's just take this for now as an example. bring the cube here as well so I'm just thinking am I missing something else we can't crush the crush any cubes or anything Actually, 
interesting. I almost wonder if we need to do a null portal here. That would solve a lot of problems, wouldn't it? So if we're over here, how would I be able to create a null portal? doing this but then I would need to respawn the laser cube as well so that necessarily wouldn't work so we actually have to do something like So we would need to do that first. Yes, I think that might be it. So what this will do is we can go through to the other side, we can respawn this. What that will do is it will swap the portals round so we don't have a portal on the other side. So we can now set up on the other side. At the same time, this will have dropped down, respawned, landed on there, causing that to flip, the laser to go through there, and that's that. So I think we're done. I think that's it. Says. But why didn't that respawn? That's going to break the laser. Huh. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't be so smug. Maybe I am. Um, maybe I wasn't done after all. So the big brain question at the moment is... How do I respawn this laser cube? Can't bring it over here, and that's what this power. Can I do it from here? I don't want to be able to do it from here because there's no way I'd be able to intersect the laser.
think about this one. Okay, I've been trying things since our previous cut, and I think this might be progress in that I can swap these portals round. If I bring this one to here, in the middle there, then I can go back through to this side and I can respawn the standard cube. So what that now does for me is now I can have the blue portal on this side. So then I don't need to worry anymore in this puzzle about having this on here. Which is all well and good. But the problem with this is that then I have to hit that at some point. I have to hit that at some point because I need to clear the portal. And the only way to clear the portal is to set this one as our... Sorry, set the one on the other side as our main portal. So, an idea I've just had here. Okay. 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 Let me reset this because I think that might be on the right lines. I need to move the reflection cube first, though. Before I do anything else. So here's what I'm thinking. That's not going to change now if we do this. So I can put my weighted cube here. And I can put my laser cube here. And this will effectively do... No, it won't, will it? Uh, okay, what I, what I was thinking along those lines was if I now respawn the weighted cube... That would cause the portal to flicker. But it doesn't, does it? So if this is the right path, how do I clear the portal on this side? Because the only way I can see, or the only way I th can think of doing this right now. Unless... Well, no, because that would just put us in the same position. I was going to say, unless I can respawn this cube through there and respawn both cubes at the same time, which I could do. That's not a problem. But it doesn't solve our issue, does it? This is... Okay, this is completely... This is... Com this is death. <laughs> oh, dear. I've not forgot... I've... Not miss those, that's for sure. Uh, right, what did we do here then? So I respawn and I took this away from here. I did that. Respawn the standard cube. Save there.
Now here's what I'm thinking with this, and this is... Uh, this is like very, very cheeky. And I don't know if this is the solution, but... That panel... Did. Okay. I think that might be the solution. So I can put the weighted cube on here on this side. Gotta keep this pull though, that's the only problem. So let's just put that over there. We put that back on there. Then Something like this. And then if everything happens like it just did then. But, uh, well, yes and no. So let me demonstrate if this works. That clears the portal and that would allow me to get up to here. is what we want, but the laser's not in the right position now, is it? The laser cube's not in the right position. Alright, well, had some good ideas, but nothing has come through for us just yet, so back to the drawing board it is, I suppose. Okay, how abstract and quirky do we want to get here? Because I've just had another thought. There is one thing in this entire map that moves, and that's this panel. So could I do this? And if so... Will that cube get crushed? Okay. Well, it got crushed. I don't think, however, I have enough time to do what I need to do. says uh We're not done yet. Okay. New idea time, 276. Why don't we try and do it this way?
So, what should hopefully happen is I can respawn the standard cube, and then the weighted cube, uh, the reflection cube, sorry, will drop. As it drops, it will land and hit that catcher, which will turn off this, respawn that cube, drop that on that conductive plate. I think. Just like that. And now, everything has worked out correctly. I should be able to. I should be able to do that. And there we go. That was a nice puzzle. Um, on the face of it, with only a couple of portal surfaces, seems relatively simple. And I, I say that quite often about maps that have limited number of portal surfaces. On the face, and they look quite simple and they feel like they only they limit your options. But it's how the other elements around those portal surfaces actually interact with each other which create the puzzle and make it such a head scratcher. So, fantastic job. Thank you very much for that one. And like I said, I don't know how regular I'm gonna be putting out portal videos, but today I just felt like playing one. And I will try and drop them in here and there, but as I kind of said it when I came back from my break, I don't wanna tie my down to a schedule. Um, and as I explained at the start of this video, I've kind of been just been having a lot of fun just doing my own thing. So. Yeah, I hope you can all kind of understand where I'm coming from. But if you have watched it, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. And um, if you've got any suggestions or feedback for this or anything to do with the channel, please do let me know. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.